and welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you for the, I think it's the fourth setup tour I've done on this channel. It's the 2021 setup tour and I think the setup's pretty much done. Now I know I say that every year, but I don't, I generally don't think it can get better than this at the current like point in time we are at. Um, obviously there's gonna be a couple things I need to upgrade. Um, but apart from that, I'd say it's the complete setup, so let's go. So, obviously you guys have seen the B-roll at the start, we're not gonna go through all of that. Um, we're gonna go around the room and see if we can get through everything. Of course we have the fish. It wouldn't be the setup without the fish. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got them on this red table currently. Obviously I'm gonna try and paint this because it doesn't, it doesn't really fit in if you can't see. Next up, coming round, you will see I have a projector. This is the Acer X113 projector. And I'll turn that on in a second, you'll see that I can actually project onto that which is really cool and down here you can see I've got the acoustic foam uh, I added this recently I think it just looks really cool with most setups so I was like why not let's put it on the wall I need to re-glue this bit obviously and I did stick it on at a wonk I don't know if you can see it's not too bad but make sure when you're sticking this stuff you do have it planned out uh first off I'm going to talk about the chair I've had this chair a while not the best chair I'd say I thought you know when I was when I about a year ago I thought you know gaming chairs were the best you could get out there um I'm not right, obviously, uh, but you know, it does the job. I don't, it's pleather, but it doesn't get too sweaty, so I can't really complain. It's the JL Conferni. Uh, I think we got it off eBay, <laughs> but no, I, I'm dissing it. It's not a bad chair at all. And as you can see on the chair, I've got the Razer Kraken X headphones. These are the slightly cheaper lineup they've got because I think, you know, as long as the audio is good, it doesn't really matter. Moving down to the actual desk, we have this GXT mouse pad. I got this ages ago. I haven't had a problem with it. I would go for an LED mouse mat, apart from the fact I wouldn't be able to wash it and I can't explain the amount of times I've washed this. All I do is I put it in the bath with some washing powder and I let it soak and then I'll just take it out and let it dry. Uh, over here we have the Stream Deck Mini. So this thing was about 80 pounds. I can't explain how much of a lifesaver it is. This button, it does the exact same as this, which just, you know, takes a screenshot and I can send that to my friends. Just being able to, instead of going like this while I'm in a game or something, I can still play my game, quickly tap that. I've got loads of folders set up because I've got the smaller version, I've got loads of folders set up. For example, one of the main ones I use is Spotify. Really helpful, 10 out of 10, I'd recommend this. Next up is the Razer Ornata Chroma. So this is um, one of Razer's cheaper keyboards. I got this a while ago. It is a membrane, but they've added a little switch to make it clicky. It's still got that clicky sound, but you know, at the end of the day, it's a membrane keyboard. Uh, which I, this is the one thing I will be upgrading as soon as possible. Over here we have the SteelSeries Rival 3. This is an excellent mouse. I can't tell you how much I love SteelSeries. I accidentally broke my old mouse, but I can't complain. I had it for five years. Uh, so I've obviously upgraded to the Rival 3, which has this nice LED configuration around the bottom. Obviously I spend a lot of time on the aesthetics on my setup. So RGB configuration is a big one for me and this was the winner. I like my RGB, it's fair to say. Um, and yes, obviously it does increase FPS. No, but um, moving on to monitors. I have this MSI, which is an 144 Hertz monitor. Earlier, I tried playing on one of these monitors. By the way, these are both 60 Hertz monitors and it felt so choppy compared to 144 Hertz. So a lot of 144 Hertz monitors used to be expensive, but they're actually going down in price. Make sure obviously though, you do have a um, reliable computer that can run above 144 FPS because otherwise you won't be able to see that. Two Dell monitors, I forgot the name because Dell's names are so complicated. Yeah, those are both 60 Hertz monitors and the one in the middle is 144 Hertz, which I obviously use for gaming because the keyboard's here. Moving on to microphone, I use this a lot for streaming and obviously um, calls in Discord, etc. This is a blue snowball, blue ice snowball actually, uh, with a pop filter, that's why it looks so big. You can see it under there, it's the same mic I've had for a while, and it's just on some cheap mic arm, which I really need to oil. You can probably hear that, but yeah, there you go. Let's talk about sound. So down here we have the Logitech Z333 speakers. Uh, this is a speaker set, it's got a bass and two and I just basically cable managed it, it's really messy. I cable managed it behind there and I've just turned off the radiator, but you know. Uh, anyway, it's a good set of speakers, I really like them and, and you know, I can sit back, relax and watch a movie. Right, let's get on to the PC then. This actually used to be a pre-built from Chill Blast, which was a really good build, but you know, I want to play Cyberpunk, I want to play games like that and it was getting outdated. 
So I've upgraded everything except the motherboard and the storage. So it's technically not a pre-built anymore. Obviously there's a lot of hate around pre-built. I don't think I paid any more than 50 pounds for, you know, the building. And obviously it was three years ago. I didn't have the like PC building skills that I would have now. Anyway, let's get started. So I have a 650 watt power supply. Uh, haven't had any issues. Not much you can say about a power supply. And over here, you've got an EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. This is the SC Ultra version. Obviously, there was a GPU crisis with Bitcoin, and it was really hard to get your hands on one. I took it, This took about three months to arrive. Now, moving up, we have a... First off, you'll see the AIO, but we have an i5-9600K processor. And on top, obviously, you can see the ID cooling um, Aura Flow. I think this is the 240. Yep. Yeah. So 220 millimeter fans, fully RGB addressable with the software. And it really keeps my temps down. My temps used to be with the stock cooler on my last CPU, like 70 plus in like games such as Cyberpunk. But now I've upgraded to this. I have, I haven't actually gone above 60 degrees yet. I've got 16 gigs of RAM, nothing special, but there you go. Uh, you've got a Corsair RGB fan. I don't think it's addressable, but it, I just kind of left it at red because it matches with my like red and blue theme. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep that then. And down here you can see, obviously I put some Minecraft things in. I put a village over the crafting table and up here near the red, I put a TNT. Uh, anyway, I've got this gigabyte motherboard. I think it's the Z370. This came with the pre-built, as I said. So yeah, down here we got the storage, we got 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. That's what I saw Windows on, uh, just so I can launch it up in like 10 seconds. I don't have to wait for Windows to launch. And this is where I keep all my games and videos, etc., that don't need to be accessed that quick. This is a two terabyte hard drive, and I might upgrade that in the future. But obviously we've got a stock cooler back here, and this whole case is a Corsair RGB. Um, I think it's the Carbide Speco 5, that's the actual name. Nothing special, <laughs> basically nothing special, but there you go. That's my PC build. You know, I've, I've been saving up a lot of money. I've been living with a, I've been living with a three gigabyte VRAM um, GPU until now, obviously I've upgraded this and I also upgraded my CPU because that would bottleneck it. Now moving on to camera, obviously. So we have here the Sony WX500. That's the camera I use and I use some Amazon cam link thing. So basically what that does is, it takes the output of the camera and it converts it to a webcam output like USB. So you plug in your HDMI and then into this thing and then it outputs a USB. Obviously as a flip up lens, you've seen this before, I've just started using it as a webcam because I don't use it for any other purpose. And back here for lighting, this is actually how I light everything up. I'm not going to spend loads of money on a key light because I don't think it's worth it personally. I have these Yee Light smart light bulbs, which means I can use Alexa over here, here she is. I can use how I'll just say lamp on and whenever I'm going to stream that'll light up the right white colour I want. So I've also got a Yee light up here, I'm not sure if I mentioned, uh, I use that from room lighting. So computer, main light, blue, Let's see in a second, there we go. So it's a couple of seconds delay but you know, it saves me the time of going into the app or whatever. And I think that's about it. That's my completed 2020 setup tour. So that concludes my 2020 setup tour. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like because I want to know, you know, if you like this kind of content. And I will be seeing you in 2022 with a brand new setup tour. Goodbye.